And you know how I always have the flights from hell? This one was no different. None. Apparently. That is why I did not fly, I, I mean film, on my yeah, second part of my flight. I got to Charlotte and there was no wheelchair for me. There was a wheelchair. I was told it was not for me and that I looked healthy enough that I did not need a wheelchair. Yeah, we're going in a thing, so hold on, let me turn green screen on. So there! You determine your health. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was told I do not look like I needed a wheelchair. I said, excuse me? How can you tell by looking at somebody whether or not they are in need of a wheelchair? So anyway, I was told I do not need a wheelchair. I said, how, how can you tell by looking at somebody whether or not they need a wheelchair? So needless to say, they get me a wheelchair. My gate is way on the other side of the airport. So whether or not I got, I waited for the wheelchair or I walked, I would not have made it. The wheelchair took me so far and then dumped me off and said, you need to take the escalator upstairs and get an electric cart from that point. So I take the elevator upstairs and I have to sit there and wait for an electric cart. Oh, hello. Oh. Okay. I have to sit there and wait for an electric cart. So I'm like, how long am I going to have to sit here because I think I already missed my flight? Well, then if you missed your flight, you need to go to customer service. I said, okay, can I get a wheelchair to take me to customer service? I'm sorry, but our wheelchairs don't go down that way. And neither do our electrical carts. Uh, no, that's okay. So you need to walk to customer service. I'm like, I'm handicapped. I'm not supposed to be walking and I have to walk to customer service because you guys made me miss my flight. Excuse me, we did not have anything to do with you missing your flight. Excuse me, you did. Because I had to wait for the wheelchair. So, I walk down. Now, now I'm literally crying because I am so livid. I walk down to customer service. Meanwhile, I'm getting names of everybody I'm dealing with. I walk down to customer service. I get in line. And the guy says, where are you going to, hon? So I said, well, I'm going to Dallas. He says, what's your final destination? I said, California. He says, what's your final destination? I said, California. He says, what airline? What airport? I said, LAX. I said, here's, that, uh, here's my final ticket. He's like, I'm going to book you straight through. He calls an electrical cart to come down. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. <laughs> I was told they're not allowed down here. Oh, no, they're allowed down here. Hmm. Okay. Well, this lady, and I gave him her, her name, said they're not allowed down here. I said, you got some very rude people that work for you and people that are unwilling to help other people. I was told that I am not handicapped. So, I, w I was livid. Yeah, so, he tells the lady that's driving the electrical cart to take me directly to my gate because the plane is loading and getting ready to close up. She stops and picks up more people. I said, excuse me, he told you to take me directly to the gate because my plane is getting ready to go. What airport was this? Charlotte. Charlotte. Oh, you have plenty of time, hon. Don't worry about it. I said, don't worry about it? I said, I just missed one flight. You're going to make me miss another? Oh, you're not going to miss your flight. So she calls the gate. Oh, you still have 10 minutes. So she turns around to me. She says, see, I told you, you, you have plenty of time to relax. I was like, livid. I get to the gate. I don't even have a seat on this flight. Everybody's loaded on the plane. So I have to have an aisle seat because of 
how often I have to get up. There's no aisle seats. None. So, oh, somebody didn't show up. So they had an aisle seat. So they gave me that seat. I get on the plane. There's a guy sitting in that seat. I said, sir, can I see your ticket? You're in my seat. Totally ignoring me. Big man. Two big women sitting next to him. I didn't want to sit there anyway, but, sir, can I see your ticket? Totally ignoring me. Completely ignoring me. A stewardess comes by and she says, what's the problem? I was like, he's in my seat. Meanwhile, some pe people are telling me, can you get out of my way, please? I'm trying to get to my seat. I'm like, well, I'm trying to get in my seat. So the stewardess says, well, this seat is open right here. This is an aisle. Why don't you just sit there? So she takes my bag and puts it all the way in the back of the plane. I'm like, that's not acceptable. I need to be able to get to stuff. Well, can you take what you need out of that bag and put it in the bag that you're going to put under your seat because there's no room by you? Fine, I will do that. So I did that. I couldn't film. I was so upset. I ended up getting two Bloody Marys on that flight. I don't drink. I needed a drink to calm down. Not one flight have I taken in the past year and a half to two years has been a smooth flight. I'm telling you, the last flight when I flew up to visit Angie in Oregon, I fell. Remember that? They treated you a lot better. Though. Yeah, they treated me a lot better. That was United Airlines. This was American Airlines. I will tell you, American Airlines used to have a good reputation. Not one person was nice. Not one. Now, I'm, I'm crying, bawling my eyes out. Guys can't even see me. I'm crying, bawling my eyes out. Not one person stewardess, attendant at the airport, asked me if I was okay. Nobody asked me if I was okay. You see the customer service is great, eh? Yeah, real good customer service. American Airlines. Well, could have been Charlotte, too. Could have been just the airport. Well, even the stewardesses on the plane that I got on, and I was still bawling my eyes out didn't ask me if I was okay. Because I had a great flight, and I missed my flight too, so... The only good thing was that they ended up booking me directly from Charlotte to LAX instead of having another stopover in Dallas. That was the only good thing that came out of it. But I'll tell you, another flight from hell. But it's good to be home.